We started a podcast. We did? And thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. It's called Strip Trivia, and it's a self-explanatory podcast where we ask each other trivia questions. When we get a question wrong, we take off an article of clothing. The first guy naked's a loser. I know you may be thinking, I'm terrible at trivia. Why would I listen to a podcast about it? Well, we're not trivia buffs either, but that didn't stop us from making a podcast about it. You can rest easy knowing the questions are kind of like this. In 2012, West City became the first three-time host of the Modern Summer Games. I don't really remember watching the Olympics. I was pretty busy here for me. You're stopping Coney, I believe. And this. On their first date, where did Roy take Pam? <laughs> I have this question for you. It's not to find another question. <laughs> uh, it was a minorly cocky game. Yeah, you're right. And if you think these are too easy, there's also questions like this. In what country did the genre dubstep originate? The first episode's out now, so go to striptriviapod.com to check it out, or search for it wherever you get your podcasts. And if you want to know how we made our probably world-renowned podcast, here's what we did. First, we weren't sitting around racking our brains trying to come up with a podcast idea. I was actually in the shower thinking about Ken Jennings as usual when it hit me. Trivia plus nudity. That's just made for the audio format. Then I was in the kitchen eating my breakfast when the perfect jingle came to me. And solidified the notion that we had to make this thing happen. Trivia is everywhere. There are plenty of trivia podcasts out there. So you have to find a way to stand out in that cluttered space. No one else is doing these podcasts naked. We checked. The second thing that was really important to us was making sure it's something we genuinely enjoy doing because we're not actors. Squarespace! And aren't really capable of being inauthentic. Audiences are smart and could sniff us out if we were faking it and wouldn't want to listen to us. And if this is another thing we're taking on, we want it to be something that we're excited to make. The gear is kind of the boring part for us, but if you're interested, we used two Shure SM7B microphones with cloud lifters, a zoom recorder, and these two boom arms. We currently edit in Adobe Premiere because that's what we're fastest in. Toss on some plugins and grab some music and sound effects from Artlist. Another cool tool you can check out to help with your audio is Adobe's new Speech Enhancer tool. It's pretty amazing at cleaning up less than stellar audio and it's free. We'll link all of those goodies down in the description. While it seems simple, this podcast has been two years in the making. We had to record some trial and error episodes to nail down the right format. We also slapped together a pilot episode, sent it out to some friends, and asked them to fill out a type form survey about the podcast to collect their feedback. As we continue to make new episodes, we can listen to our audience and make changes that will improve the show. Or you guys can just suck it. You suck it, and you suck it. If you're a person that gets caught up with perfection, it might be best to just go ahead and get started, release something into the wild, and make adjustments as you go. Every good podcast, and even the mediocre ones, need promo photos. Ours were pretty straightforward. We wanted a new typeface for the logo, so we did a little search on Instagram and found the perfect one. That set us back $9. We then got our jingle made on Fiverr for $69. Nice. Nice. Next, we created social media accounts on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and even YouTube, so we could post a video version of the podcast. Then we created shorts of clips from our first episode to put out on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And then of course we needed a website, which brings us to our sponsor, Squarespace. We've been Squarespace customers since 2013, way before this YouTube channel started. We currently pay for four Squarespace websites and striptriviapod.com is one of them. If you're not raking in money hand over fist with your podcast, you might want to check out Squarespace's new member areas where you can sell access to gated content like video classes, digital downloads, or newsletters. You can also showcase your photography with Squarespace's professional portfolio designs. Customize the layout, the look, and the feel to make it your own. Also, you can schedule and book appointments straight from your website. You need to log in that client meeting? Well, they can easily see your availability and reschedule if needed, making your life a heck of a lot easier. Here's what our new podcast website looks like. And if you're in the market for a new website or domain, we'll save you 10% when you go to squarespace.com slash mango street, or just click the link down in the description or use the code mango street at checkout. The options are virtually endless. Sounds like there's just three options. Okay, there's three options. Finally, we needed to get our podcast hosted somewhere to get it distributed to all the usual suspects. We first signed up with Buzzsprout, which was super easy to use and cost $12 per month. 
But we wanted the option to add mid-roll ads in the future and be able to swap them out over time so we can make money for our health insurance or whatever. So we switched over to Podbean, which is $29 per month, and then blasted our first episode out into the world. Gross. So that's how you make a world-renowned podcast. Let's check in and see what our manager thinks about it. Oh, it's terrible. Sounds like he loved it. 